Hey guys, what's up? I'm so glad you guys are tuning in again. We miss you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys again back in church. If you guys have your Bible, go ahead and grab it and we're gonna be in James 3, 5 today. Did you pause the video? Go grab your Bible. Yes? Cool. All right, so. Hey, it's me, Toby, maybe Keith. <laughs> hey, Toby. How's it going? It's going good. Awesome. Well, I'm Hi. super glad to have you back again. Me too. Me too. Thanks. Thanks, Andrea. You're welcome, Toby. <laughs> All right. Do you want to help me with the verse again? You seem to really like doing it. Yeah, that. let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, cool. We're still in James. We've been there for a while, so I'm hoping you guys know where that is in your Bibles by now. All right. You ready? Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm sure. Like, really ready? Positive. Okay, cool. The tongue, the tongue is a small part. Is a small part of a person's body. Of a person's body. But but it talks big. It talks big. Think about think about how a small spark how a small spark can set a big forest set a big forest on fire. On fire. James three five. James three five. That's an interesting verse. Yeah. Well. We live in Minnesota, right? Yes, we do. Okay, so you know what happens every summer? The s sun comes out? Well, yes. But another thing that happens every summer, the roads have so much construction yeah, on them. Yeah, construction. We should just change summer to be con called construction season. Construction. There's so much of it. So I thought with this verse... It'd be kind of funny if we could do it like a jackhammer. Whoa. Do you know what those are? Yeah. Well, if you guys don't know what those are, it's this big hammer thing that they just kind of ride onto the like street and it breaks up the pavement. Whoa. So to sound like a jackhammer, you just kind of got to... <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. Ready? Let's do this. All right. Get your jackhammer ready, guys. You good now? He said get your jackhammer ready. All right, let's pretend like we're doing a jackhammer while we say the verse. Okay, I get it now. Now you get it. All right. Okay. Ready? Let's do this. The tongue. The tongue is a small part. Is a small part of the person's body. Of the person's body, but it talks big. But it talks big. Think about. Think about how a small spark. How a small spark can set. Oh, big, oh, big forest, forest on fire, on fire. James, James, three, three, five. Whew, okay. Wow, I am so tired. Me too. All right, guys. Well, while we recover from that, take a look at this video. Okay. Bye, boys and girls. A long time ago, there was a woman named Abigail. She was married to a rich and stingy man named Nabal. I'm rich and I'm stingy. One day, Nabal was having a big feast. David and his army had been running from this guy named Saul who wanted to hurt them. Back then, if somebody was having a big feast and a traveler came by, it was polite to share your feast with him. So David told his men, Oh, we are tired and hungry. Go to that guy Nabal's house and ask if he'd share just a bit of food with us. You got it, boss. At Nabal's house, David's messenger asked very nicely, Sir, can you give my boss David and his men some food? We've been traveling for a long time, and we're hungry. Why should I give any of my food to a nobody like David? Go away, or I will run you off my land. 
When the messenger told David what had happened, David was very angry. Not only had Nabal refused to be polite and share his food, he had insulted David by calling him a nobody. That guy Nabal is mean and stingy. Come on boys, follow me, we're going to Nabal's house to get even. Now Nabal's wife Abigail heard how bad Nabal treated David's messenger. She knew that David would be coming to her house to get even. So Abigail decided to do something about it. Sir, please take the food I'm giving you. And please forgive my mean and stingy husband. You're a great leader and God is with you. Don't blow it by losing your temper and getting even with my husband. Thank you so much for the food. But more importantly, thank you so much for stopping me from doing something without thinking because I was angry. You have stopped a big fight today. Thanks to Abigail, David made the right decision that day. They end. I hope you enjoyed that video. And you know what? This video reminds me of today's big idea. It says God calls us to honor him by being careful with our words. We need to make sure we think about the things we say, no matter what it is, whether we're angry, sad, or happy, let's think about our words. And does that honor him with what we say? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much that we get to spend time with you and that we get to know you. And I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would give us, um, Lord, self-control over our words and we would really process what we say and make sure that everything we say honors you. You name me pray, amen. Amen.